class in counter class again today. Uh, in our previous uh, class discussion, we were able to look at uh, uh, the oligosaccharides, how they are formed. We did say that uh, oligosaccharides, basically, these are molecules which are formed when we link uh, the monomers of the simple sugars together through the oxidic bond linking, which is a covalent bond. We did look at how, for example, maltose is formed, how sucrose is formed, and also how the lactose is formed. These are the saccharides which fall under a group of sugars uh, we refer to as the oligosaccharides. The saccharides. Now today I want to major on basically on polysaccharides. Polysaccharides. Now polysaccharides they are formed by linkage. Linkage of long chains. Long chains of monosaccharide monomers monosaccharide monomers Now the process is the same as the case for the nucleosaccharide. They are formed by the chemical process referred to as condensation, in which we say water molecule is released. Now we want to basically look at uh, basically uh, two main types of uh, polysaccharide. Though we can mention an example, we have starch, uh, we have glycogen. We have xanthan gum. We have cellulose. We have pectin, very important in food processing. Pectin. Also, we have in cellulose. Of course, we have also pectin. Team. These are the major types of polysaccharide that we normally have. Now, in a special way, uh, I want us to look at uh, a starch. Starch basically is a, a complex sugar formed by uh, linking various monomers of glucose molecules together. We have now, normal starch can form up to, uh, up to about a million, million molecules of the glucose coming together. Now, the two types of starch which are normally formed, we have one called amylose. The other one is called amylopectin. Amylopectin. Now I'm going to look at how are amylose form and how are amylopectin, a uh, mini uh, uh, starch formed. Now let's begin with amylose. Amylose. Now amylose basically is an unbranched, an unbranched starch. The main difference between amylose and amylopectin is the way the linkage occurs as well as the structure that they are stereoisomerism. Stereo For the amylose, for the amylose, the chain is unbranched. The chain of the sugars forming it here is unbranched. The linkage is the same as the 
the one we see in formation of maltose. Only that now we are joining very many molecules of the glucose together through the old glycosidic uh, bond. For example, we can join one glucose molecule. Let me make it a bit uh, so that we can form a normal chain. There is one glucose molecule. We are joining with another one through the whole glycosidic bond. This is the whole glycosidic bond.
So you can see uh, this particular starch molecule is branched. It is branched. So the chain is long. So you can see there is branching at carbon number one of this one, of this particular molecule. So it joins this carbon number one and carbon number six. So this is alpha uh, six. But the linkage between this molecule and this one, also with this one, this one and that one is alpha 1,4 so this is a amylopectin 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 now briefly let's now look at uh, another molecule we are also forming another uh, polysaccharide uh, that is glycogen So glycogen has the same structure as the amylopectin. The difference is that it is much shorter than the amylopectin. Now in our next class, we shall discuss, uh, we shall discuss and look how the glycogen uh, molecules are formed. So thank you.